and I promised uh, Matthew Davison that I'd make a video for him, so here it is. Now, polyvinyl acetate or PVA, it's known as wood glue. This particular one is um, floating floor adhesive. You can get it in craft shops, etc., etc. It's just a uh, white, milky uh, adhesive that is uh, water soluble. Now, the ratio that I mix is, well, pretty well whatever I feel like. There's no set, um, no set mix. So, we use a jar, which is obviously going to have water and a bit of adhesive in it. I'll get the adhesive out, I undo the thingy here, whoops, and we'll just pour some in, whatever I feel like will be it, oh let's have a look, oh it's nice and gluggy this one, it's old, <laughs> definitely old, normally it doesn't come out quite like that, it's a lot thinner, but that'll do, that's enough for me, you don't need a lot, now the next bit that we add, strangely enough, is water, how much you say? Well, it's whatever you feel like. There's, again, it's not an um, exact science. I just put it in till it um, looks about that. That'll do. Put the lid on top. And then basically just mix it. And uh, because mine is a bit globular, it's a bit old, it needs a bit of a good mix. And uh, that's basically all you've got to do. Now, I'll show you how I coat the glass and uh, the procedure that I do. So just bear with me for a few seconds. And we're just moving the Z-axis out of the way. Now, the glass uh, that we're going to be coating is from my Creality Mini. I quite like this little printer. It's uh, pretty nifty and it's been my go-to one lately now the bed itself I've heated that up it should be sitting on about 60 degrees at the moment now what I'm going to also do in a second is disable steppers which I've just done I'm going to bring the bed forward Just use a little brush and just simply coat. Now you've got to be very careful, you don't really want to get onto the plate underneath. We just want it on the glass, we definitely do not want it on the electronics. So we just give it a light, light coat like that for the moment. Doesn't require much at all. Now we let that uh, start to firm up a little bit or start to disappear and as it uh, is disappearing it's drying so we just keep moving it around you'll see it start to become quite tacky shortly and as I start to run my paintbrush through it it'll start to um, streak a little bit there's still a fair bit of moisture in the, in the PVA at this point I can feel the brush starting to firm up a little bit now and you should start to see the glue starting to smear a little bit more so we'll just pull it through and again you see it starting to move around the plate nicely so the first coat is nearly done And that's about it for the first coat. Now, the uh, same thing again. All you do is um, grab your brush, dip it in, stick it in the middle, give it a little bit more maybe, and that's it. You just simply move it around the glass. And the idea is that you're going to get a very even coat. And uh, this coat will... Uh, work wonders for your prints it will hold them like you do not believe it is amazing stuff very simple to do and you don't have to keep coating continually it's just uh, you do it once and uh, just forget about it basically um, I tend to forget how many times I've uh, 
I've printed on things uh, on this particular uh, glass here and uh, I had just bothered, had not bothered at all to recoat it. It's starting to firm up now so I'll just get this moving around a little bit faster. Oops, I'll move the glass a little bit there. And you can see it's the glass is taking on a nice frosted sort of look to it. And that's uh, that's basically all there is to it. We have now got ourselves a bit of glass um, with glue on it, all prepped, ready to uh, print on. Now I'll just uh, do up the lid there, I'll just pick up the glass so you can actually see the frosting. It's just a very thin layer over the top of it, and that's all there is to it. It's, it's as simple as that. Works wonders, it's brilliant, it beats the daylights out of painter's tape. You don't need uh, glue sticks or any other hairspray or exotic stuff that you've got to continually put on all the time. Do one coat of this, or two coats I should say, and uh, if you think that it's, uh, you know, the prints are sort of not adhering quite right, just pop another very thin layer over the top, but make certain that the glass is heated, and uh, that's it, that's all I do. Now, this will last for, I don't know, 20, 30 prints, maybe more, if um, you sort of get to the stage that they're letting go, as I say, you can just simply grab a little bit of um, tissue, which is what I use here sometimes, just dip that in water, and just smear over the, the glass surface when you've finished your print, let it um, obviously dry and you're ready to go again. So I, as I say, seldom uh, coat with glue, but when I do, I do it properly and it will last a long, long time. Thank you for watching. I, I do hope you found this useful and all the best.